What's going on guys? This is Dan from AbsintheJailbreak.com and today I'm going to show you how to downgrade from iOS 6. So many users have upgraded to iOS 6 and some may have been unsatisfied and want to downgrade back to iOS 5. Now this is possible, but only if you do have SHSH blobs. So before you watch more of this video, make sure you do have those SHSH blobs. So for this process, you will need, of course, your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad itself. This works on A4 devices only for now. Your Mac or Windows-based computer, the latest version of Red Snow, the iOS firmware that you are going to downgrade to, your USB to 30-pin dock connector cable, and once again, your SHSH blobs. You will also need Tiny Umbrella as well. So step one is to plug in your device into iTunes, and then once iTunes launches, go ahead and back up your device. To do this, right click on your device in iTunes, choose backup, and iTunes will back it up. Once that is complete, go ahead and quit iTunes and launch Tiny Umbrella. Now click on your device in the sidebar of Tiny Umbrella, and then click on the Advanced tab. Where it says Save SHSH Directory, Go ahead and redirect that to save to your desktop. This will save all of your SHSH blobs locally onto your desktop. Once you have done that, you can go ahead and quit Tiny Umbrella. Now go ahead and launch Red Snow. Once again, all links will be in the video description. Go ahead and click on Extras, and then click on SHSH blobs. Click on Stitch, and then go ahead and click on IPSW. Select the IPSW that you have downloaded. In my case, it is my iOS 5.1.1 IPSW. Once you have done that, go ahead and click on Local to specify your SHSH blobs that you have for your specific firmware. So I will specify my iOS 5.1.1 SHSH blobs, respectively. Red Snow will then create an IPSW that has your SHSH blobs stitched into it for further use. Now we have to go back into Red Snow and click on the Pwn DFU option. This will take our device into a special DFU mode that will make it able to downgrade. In order to do this, we have to slide to power off our device, and then go ahead and click Next. Hold the Sleep button for 3 seconds, then hold the Home and Sleep button for 10 seconds, and finally, let go of the Sleep but continue to hold the Home button. Once you see the screen, you can go ahead and let go of the Home button. Now, finally, you are successfully in Pwn DFU mode and you can go ahead and quit Red Snow. Now go ahead and open up iTunes. Once iTunes launches, you will see it has detected your device in recovery mode even though it is in DFU mode, so don't worry about that. Now if you are running on Windows, go ahead and shift click the restore button. However, if you are running on Mac OS X like me, go ahead and option click the restore button and specify your stitched IPSW. Go ahead and select it and the downgrade process will initiate. I'm just going to speed this up for you guys so you can see it actually happening. Now, once that is complete, you will see your device has been successfully downgraded to the iOS firmware of your choice. Now, if you have any problems with the downgrading process, please let me know in the video description. Feel free to tweet me at my Twitter name or send me an inbox on YouTube. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Dan from AbsintheJailbreak.com and I'll see you guys later.